R. Kelly, now his executive assistant of 16 years, is telling R. Michael Strahan about what she says she saw inside Kelly's homes, including his live-in girlfriends and female visitors. Here's Michael Strahan. It's the bombshell trial making headlines. R&B superstar R. Kelly in federal court. At various points over the span of nearly two decades, allegations from sex trafficking to child pornography have swirled around R. Kelly, but he has not been found guilty of any crimes. The singer, now back in court and claiming his innocence again, pleading not guilty to multiple federal charges, including racketeering and sexual abuse. There were women always, you know, coming at him. Diana Copeland served as R. Kelly's executive assistant off and on for 16 years, taking the stand, sharing details from her experience working in his homes. I believe I can fly. At the time, Kelly was one of the biggest selling male artists and music producers. His hit song, I Believe I Can Fly, winning him three Grammys. How would you describe him as a person? He's charismatic. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons why people kind of say he has two personalities, because when you meet him, he has, you know, he, he's a really uh, personable person. If you see him angry, that's a whole different person. Inside Kelly's home where she worked, Copeland said there were rules, like guests were not allowed to roam the homes. Where did they all stay? Yeah, he would have live-in girlfriends. They had their own rooms. Guests would just come maybe sit in the studio with him. He had like three properties. In those properties, there was like a certain decorum that was expected. Uh, they, he pretty much didn't want not just the girls to move around, but he didn't want anybody to be able to just roam his house, you know, like a museum. Copeland says she was asked to accompany his guests on outings. She says during shopping trips, the women often didn't interact with male salespeople. They asked me during the trial, um, did you notice their reaction with males? And I did. Uh, they, they didn't want to speak to the males. In fact, sometimes they would ask me to interact with the males. So they didn't want to speak to the males, or were they told not to speak to the males? Well, that part piece I can't speak to because I don't know if they were told, but I would say that you can pretty much surmise that that was probably the case. She says while outside a fitness center waiting for Kelly to work out, she was in a van with multiple women, and one of his girlfriends needed to use the restroom, but she says refused to go because she did not have permission from Kelly. Was she afraid of him? Was she afraid that if she removed or went to the bathroom that she would be in trouble? Mm. That's, you know, a question, I guess, for her. But what I can say is this. Um, there are uh, certain rules that are put in place for safety because when he gets out of the vehicle, he's highly recognizable. So now whomever gets out of that vehicle, there's a spotlight, a target on that person. You know, no speaking to men, the, the texting to use the bathroom. None of that raised an alarm for you. You didn't think any of that was a, a little strange. You know, I know Robert the family man, the businessman, but his personal life is Robert's personal life. So my job stops at the threshold of his bedroom door. Copeland says multiple living girlfriends and other women would visit his homes, and one of her jobs was making their travel arrangements. In court, Kelly has been accused by some women of traveling them across state lines when they were underage. Another alleged victim telling the jury she was even held captive for several days. Diana maintains she didn't see anything like that. When you're making travel arrangements, of course, you need the date of birth. So how old were these women? They ranged in ages, no one under 18. In fact, um, when this case came up, I'm reading that women are locked up um, and you know, kidnapped and, and these things, things of that nature. And that's not what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing anybody that's trying to leave or any locked doors. Every woman that's left has walked right out the door. Did he ever ask you to recruit women for him? He's never asked me, but at the time, I'm only saying that he was R. Kelly. A mega superstar. He needed no help. <laughs> I mean, absolutely no help to recruit women or to get women. Is there anything that you think you could have, would have done differently? 
You know, looking back, I think that I would have done things the same way I did. Um, I don't think that anything that I did was wrong or, um, and I also don't think that any 